This championship Sunday has a little bit of everything for you. If you're a Clash Royale League fan, we have two of the top six players on the leaderboard going head to head, trying to finalize that secure spot for World Finals. Hello and welcome. I'm Rich Slayton, joining me my buddy Andrew Guy for a great day of Clash Royale League. And Andrew, there are so many fun players to watch today. Defenses, we need to see a great freeze. And that is, wow, last second pull there with the mortar. Fireball in the freeze, not gonna do it. NATO does finish things off. Could he freeze here and steal this tower? He could. Freeze comes in. Lumberjack trying to go for it. <laughs> not gonna <laughs> happen. Vitor weathers the storm. A two tower situation, that's just good for Famous Kid. He's content with getting it to two towers. He's he's okay with that happening. Although we might not see two towers, he yeah. just needs one poison. And this this might be a victory for him. Valkyrie up high, Goblin Cage comes down late. Princess though does connect to the tower. Rocket comes in, 167 remains. Not enough time to get the poison down. And Coco skates by just barely. Yeah, absolutely. It's so entertaining to watch just one mistake where you give a little bit too much value to a ghost, a little bit too much value to a bandit can change the entire outcome. So far, I mean, it's just been pretty much near perfect gameplay from both. And I mean, it just comes down to, again, the Zappies versus the baby dragon. The Zappies are just getting so much more value every time. The opposite lane, ghost pressure from Bruzani, maybe not that impactful, but did force out something on that side. And you see Vitor, given the GG, knows there's no way he can break through with enough damage at this point. And Bru with a clean 2-0 to move on and send Vitor packing. And good value there on the delivery. Valkyrie comes in as well. Lightning, though, takes that musky off the board. And a bit of an overwhelm here still. Mega Knight taken for the piggies. Piggies on tower. Flying Machine on tower as well. That's it right there, Eric. And Muhammad Light knows he has to go back down the elimination side of the bracket where he's found great success in the past, but I don't think that's how he thought this set was going to go. Yeah, I don't think so either. I thought he was making... I think he thought he was making a great play by not using the, the Tesla drill. Well, that was most likely the last chance that Bruzani had, and it feels like this is going to be the end of his CRL run. And it was a beautiful run. Obviously, he took a risk with this deck. And when you look at the other side of it, Goko, I'm not sure he was expecting this deck, but it worked out so well for him. He had answers for everything, and on top of that, he recognized early on, this RG is not my win condition. My win condition is the Lightning. I would have loved to see Bruzani switch lanes, even though it was late in the game again i believe he has to but still that king tower is in a whole lot of trouble and he misses the nato yeah. he misses the nato oh my word that's real tough and you see that that king tower just ticking down the inferno tower is still lining up with that firecracker splash damage in on both sides just incredibly difficult spot for coco to be in and mohammed light makes this a very quick 2-0 on that drill too. Flying Machine has to come out. Balloon's not going to get a drop, but will get death damage. Oh, and just goblins. like that, the goblins, Sandbox, oh that. my word, yeah. That's it, Rich. That's an arrow and poisons away. Muhammad Light going to turn up the heat here, but that could just be the end of our monthly final. Flying Machine going to get taken away with that Inferno. That is some crazy stuff. Inferno Dragon does take care of business. Drill going to be going in. And the Zappies do get this round on the drill. Poison is in. Snowball trying to hold on. Can Piggies win this foot race? Can they get it done? Poison That's it. in, arrows in, and there you go. Sandbox is your August monthly champion. And remember, you, yes, you at home, you could be here at CRL. We could be calling your matches. You could be playing for $20,000. All you got to do is finish in that top 1,000 on ladder now. Well, we'll see you back here again one month for now for that final monthly championship for Andrew, for Eric, for Josh, for everyone here at CRL. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you in a month. And, of course, remember to be excellent to each other. Bye.